This is the big question. Do you want to stay married or do you want to get a divorce? There's nothing easy about marriage, but if marriage and that person is worth it, then that work won't seem so difficult. My decision is to stay married. I decided to stay married because like, I, I took this pressure off myself that I kept thinking I had to feel a certain way by four weeks, by five weeks, by six weeks. Worst thing I could ever done. When you put enough pressure on somebody, your body wants to rebel. And they tell you, you gotta feel this way. And you, who, who are you to tell me that, you know? So I started to think to myself, why am I shutting down? And why am I just thinking that this is just six weeks? I think, again, making positive strides from Dr. Jill on, that there is life after six weeks. You know, I just can't look at this as a six week experiment. There's a possibility of a lifetime experiment. Jacqueline, what is your decision? I tried to see the positives and everything through this experiment, and I've definitely had some times where I felt just disappointed and just unhappy and unsure of everything. But at the same time, I feel like we have been positive and supportive of each other, and we haven't had any real disagreements. So Jacqueline, what is your decision? <laughs> that I want to give this a chance, and I want to stay married. We decided to try to not put a six week time frame on your relationship. You know, take that off the table. Like he felt very pressured because of that. Like, oh God, it's three weeks, but we're married, but my feelings aren't there yet. So to kind of alleviate some of that pressure, we do have a connection and we have a bond there. At least try to see it through. I think Jacqueline, she saw some glimmer of hope that I'm moving my best foot forward and trying. It takes work. Emotionally, it drains you. You wanna give them your all, and sometimes it's hard to. You know? Sometimes it's, it's just easy to quit, but the fact that I really got to meet and get to marry, probably one of the best people I ever met. I've been blessed to the fact that this is the person I was able to marry, and I truly see the reasons why I was matched with her. So it's not being quitters. Few people are as lucky as we are to get such an introspective look at ourselves and have to face ourselves and have to deal with our imperfections and try to accept that in, in your partner and that nobody's freaking perfect. Our future now is where we are. Our hearts beat here together. Thank you for going through this journey with me.